sight. From the shadows of the senses comes this, the fantasy of fear. Nightmare. Starring as your exciting guide to terror, Peter Lorre. creature you see under the circus tent, balancing herself so gracefully on a tiny wire high over the head of the gaping spectators. Why does she want to do such a dangerous thing day after day? Uh, well, no one knows. And yet, yet people do dangerous things all the time without much thought about the risk of losing life. And then, then there are girls like this Judy who, who never live dangerously. The greatest earthly threat was a, was a simple run in her hose. A fearful thing to happen, especially to a, to a young efficient secretary like Judy. But life has a way of tripping us up. It tripped Judy, and she fell right into a living nightmare. Now, uh, about this girl, Judy Branch. Oh, such a very nice, pretty young thing. She, she has an excellent position in an office, a secretary to a real tycoon. Oh, and she's so efficient and so level-headed. <laughs> and nothing to worry her pretty little head, except, except one day she tripped and she fell. It was such a small thing. Nothing to be afraid about. Yet, yet almost overnight, almost overnight, Judy, oh, what you find out for yourself, I don't want you to fall for anything, I might say. Easy, baby. Easy, easy, baby. There, there. 
I didn't even see the curb. <laughs> sure you saw it. And you see what I mean about balance? Well, what are you laughing at? I could have broken my leg. I suppose that's funny. No, baby, that, that wouldn't be funny. But what are you so sensitive about? You're so touchy, just... I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, kid. You're well off working where you are as a stenographer in a nice, safe office. <laughs> Hi, Laura. You ready for lunch? About a minute. I have to finish this paragraph. Sure, I'll wait. Where do you want to go? Well, I got about 70 cents day before payday blues. How about hamburger paradise? Fine. We'll have to walk down today, you know. Hmm? I said we'll have to walk down today. Aren't you just thrilled? Walk down? What do you mean? Elevator's out of service, repairing them or something. Well, for heaven's sake, you mean we have to walk down 20 flights of stairs? Oh, lovely, huh? What's the matter? Nothing. You look funny. I'm all right. Well, you ready? Sure. I guess I can't do anything else with this face. I was born with it. I suppose it'll have to do. Come on. Just let me get my... Oh, well, careful. Oh, Judy. Are you hurt? No. No, I'm all right. Are you sure? That was quite a fall. I'm all right, Laura. What in heaven's name made you do that? I don't know. Maybe that pencil on the floor I slipped on it, I guess. Well, didn't you see it? Yes. Well, then why did you... Oh, never mind. As long as you're not hurt. Come on. I'm hungry. Well, here we are. Well, come on, let's descend into the maelstrom. There's nothing we can do about it. Huh. Stairwell's dark, too. Guess they got the electric off while they fixed the elevator. Laura, wait. Huh? Maybe. May, maybe we should. I have something set up. Are you kidding? I told you I only got 70 cents. Well, with a tip and all, it wouldn't be enough, and I'm real hungry today. Come on. I could lend you some money. Oh, come on. The fresh air will do us good. Mark. Judy, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing. I'm all right. But let's go down. <laughs> Six steps to the flight. Now, can you feel your way? It's six steps down, you turn, and another six down, and you turn, and another six between each four. Laura, what, what floor are we on? Are we almost down? Oh, no, we're only at 15 now, I think. I can't see a thing. There's a man ahead of us with a flashlight. Come on, let's catch up. Wait, don't, don't get so fast. Oh, for heaven's sake, Judy, why are you so slow? Just hold on to the rail and feel your way. Now, come on, I'm hungry. Laura, Laura, wait for me. Please, wait. Well, 
Well, if you don't like this marriage, if you don't like me, if you want out any time, you can. You can. Oh, baby, don't say that. You're making me a nervous wreck. What about me? I'm a nervous wreck, and you're the cause of it. And maybe you're right, Judy. Maybe if all of this ridiculous nonsense about falling down doesn't stop soon, I will want out. Maybe I will. Oh, Joan. <laughs> Way. Judy, for Pete's sake, that's no answer. I know it'll work, Joe. I know it. Let's move, please. But we're only on the fourth floor here. It's too high, Joe. It's too high. Judy. Please, Joe, please. All right, all right. I'll see if I can break the lease. We'll move to the ground floor apartment. Oh, honey, thanks. But this is it, you hear? This is the last time, the last coddling routine, you hear? Yes, Joe. And I mean it. I mean, Judy? Oh, don't. Please don't. We've been living here for three months. Three whole months on the ground floor, and for a while it was fine. I'm trying. But for a month and a half now, you haven't moved out of that chair. You haven't been outside the house more than once a week for shopping. Why, Judy? Why? D- Joe, please. Why, Judy? Tell me why. The steps. I'm afraid of the steps. Steps? Judy, for heaven's sake, there's only three steps out to the street. Three stupid steps. I'm afraid I'll fall, Joe. I'm afraid I'll fall. <laughs> Darling, I can't wait to unwrap it. <laughs> well, it's not so much, but uh, well, you can take a look at oh, it. Oh, darling, whatever it is, I'll love it because it's from you. Say, I I thought you were going to finish dressing the tree while I was at work. I, I did, Joe. But only the bottom part. Joe. I left the ladder for you. Why didn't... Oh, Judy. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I've been waiting in this dive with Paul and Lars since quarter past six. What's keeping you? I'm not coming, Joe. Not coming? Why not? Joe. Joe, come home, please. I'm frightened. What? It... There's a pencil on the floor. Huh? Joe, I'm afraid I'll fall. Help me, Joe. Please. <laughs> More tea, Lars? No, no, thanks. i got to watch this figure. Paul says I'm getting as wide as I am high. Man, you never can please him. Of course, I always thought your jaw was different, but I guess I was wrong. When did he leave? Two days ago. Took a hotel room. Well, if you ask me, it's because you quit your job. These men are all alike. They marry a girl to support her, and then they expect her to bring money into the house. Just like Paul. I tell you, Judy, they're all alike. There's not one that's any different. No, it's my fault, Laura. It's my fault. It's not Joe. It's me. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. I'm sorry. I'll be all right. Sure, sure. Everything will turn out okay. You just wait and see. You know, I think you ought to start working again. It'll do you good. Give you a feeling of independence. Then you wouldn't feel you need Joe as much as you do. And he'd come back. The minute he saw you going your own way, he'd come running back. You think so, Laura? Oh, I know so. Why don't you drop up to the office this week? I got a feeling old Carter would give you your job back. You know, we miss you around there, Judy. <laughs> Glad you came back, Judy. Thanks, Mr. Carter. I'm, I'm sorry about quitting with such short notice. I oh, hope. Oh, you... forget it, Judy. I, I don't hold any grudges. I uh, understand you had a problem of some kind uh, about those stairs. By the way, you uh, you're, you're over it now, aren't you? Oh yes, Mr. Carter. I'm over it. Good. Now uh, you can have your old job back, same one at the same salary. Is that okay? Oh yes, that's wonderful, Mr. Carter. I just have the application drawn up again, uh, Laura. Yes, Mr. Carter. Hi, Judy. It's good to see you back. Hello, Laura. Laura, will you type out an application for Judy and I want to make... What's that? I don't know. Fire! That's a fire alarm! But darling, it's on fire. Look, there's smoke coming in from the hall. Oh, well, that's... The fire stairs are blocked. Get out of here. How do you get out? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't, Laura. Judy, for heaven's sake, it's the only way to fix No, no, I couldn't. I fall. I know I fall. Judy, Judy, look at me. Just look at me. Laura. Now, listen. There's only one way out. Through the window and over that ledge to the other side. Now, do you hear? You have to walk over that ledge. Oh, no, I can't. Which way do 
boys up so now. The lake is so now. I fall. I fall a lot. You want to be burned to death, is that it? You, you can't stay here. You, you have to walk out that way. No. Well, I'm going. I'm getting out. Judy, come on. No, no, I won't. No. Judy, 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 do you know what you're doing? Yes, yes, you have fallen. Fallen into fear. You cannot win like this. All life has its high and low places. You're not going to give up so easily, are you? Come on, go on. Take a step and then another one and, and then another. <laughs> poor, poor girly Judy. She'll never stop falling until... Until she realizes that she's trapped. Trapped in a living nightmare. Tell me, uh, do you like to climb to high places, uh, a mountain top, or, or perhaps you enjoy going to the uppermost story of some, some great skyscraper, and, and once there, there stretched out below you is the great, great city in all its magnificence. You lean far out to get a better view, and, and suddenly, uh, only for a split second, your, your balance seems gone. But, but only for a second, and then you catch yourself. After all, you, you were holding on to a strong iron railing, huh? You weren't afraid. Now, I, I just wonder about Judy. She has a problem, one that has been left, uh, left hanging in midair. Shall we see?
see you all later. Thank you. Oh, I'm so tired. Joe, what's the matter? Chitty, it's got to stop. It's just got to stop, that's all. <laughs> what are you talking about, darling? You know what I'm talking about. There's this ridiculous career of yours, this actor, the circus. Judy, I'm a nervous wreck. But, darling, the new contract is ready for signing, and they're upping my salary 200%. We can't sneeze at that, Joe. Judy, don't you understand? It's not the money. I don't give a hang about the money. Every time I see a climb that letter, everything turns inside of me, and I, I tremble. i got to close my eyes. But, darling, you can't ask me to give up a career that I've spent so much time practicing and perfecting, and I have perfect balance, so why worry? Judy, this whole thing is ridiculous. Why aren't you afraid? Why don't you get some sense in your head? You silly. Come here. Just routine, that's all. Just simple routine. Now, stop worrying that little head of yours. There's nothing to be afraid of. And so we leave little Judy here. She lost her fears away up there. In her mind, fear makes its lair, causing grief and so much care. Judy knows that fear's absurd, something really for the birds. So she put all fear into full flight. She's the girl on that tight rope every night. <laughs> oh, I do hope you'll sleep tonight. I know I will. Uh, dreaming of... Dreaming about... Oh, about a pretty young thing. All spangles and glitter. Slowly making her way across... Across a tiny silver wire, hundreds of feet in the air, and, and never, never thinking of falling. Yes. Hmm. Say, uh, by the way, what makes you afraid? 